The UN Secretary General and several members of the international body are condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Now, those criticisms were made uh, toward Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, who led a UN Security Council meeting on International Peace Day on Monday. Elizabeth Whelan attended that meeting. Her brother Paul has been detained in Russia for over four years. Listen. Russia's less than sophisticated take on diplomacy is to arbitrarily detain American citizens in order to extract concessions from the United States. This is not the work of a mature and responsible nation. It is the action of a terrorist state. CBS News reporter Mary Lushina joins us now from Riga in Latvia to talk about this very interesting dynamic uh, because Lavrov's using his time in the UN Security Council to highlight Russia's, what he says, position on peace in the war in Ukraine. I would imagine those in Ukraine have a much different uh, perspective on what Lavrov is saying. Hi, Earl. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They think it's incredibly hypocritical. Just for context, Lavrov's sort of panel was called uh, Maintenance of International Peace and Security. And obviously, Ukraine uh, says it's the exact opposite of that, because this war that Russia has waged in Ukraine saw thousands of people killed, millions uh, had to flee their homes. And this is, you know, the opposite of maintaining peace and security. And the um, Mikhail Podolyak, the advisor to the Ukrainian president, said that this is an impeccable hypocrisy fair and that Ukraine would like to see Russia um, recognize a state sponsor of terrorism rather than, um, you know, see chair uh, such an important body. While Lavrov is emphasizing peace at the UN, there is the ongoing battle in Bakhmut, Ukrainian officials saying this region remains the focus of Russia's assault. Bring us up to speed on what's happening there and why it's key. Well, it holds very important symbolic value, not so much strategic value. Um, Russia has been claiming it is um, achieving some gains there, which it hadn't in a while. You know, they're not really advancing. Um, they're not, uh, you know, f forcing their own offensives um, anywhere else but Bakhmut because they think that they can wear Ukrainian troops out. And there have been reports that Ukrainian forces there are quite exhausted. Um, they're has been going on this war of attrition um, in that location. It's a really, really um, messy and bloody battle. But they are hoping uh, to score this win. And this is going to be quite important for domestic Russian audience to see that Russia has uh, gained something in Ukraine because it hasn't done so in months. Um, and Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has visited Bakhmut to kind of rally the troops. So um, they're seeking very much this kind of symbolic um, win here. And one component that certainly impacts people around the world is the Black Sea grain deal. The Kremlin saying it has concerns that need to be addressed before it can extend that agreement. Talk to us about what those concerns are and the likelihood of this crucial deal being renewed. Well, Moscow's main complaint is that they allege that the conditions for Russia exporting its own grain and its own fertilizer uh, has not been really implemented. Um, there are a lot of technical details, but basically they want to see Russian agricultural bank uh, accounts unfrozen because Russia is pretty much the most sanctioned um, country in the world. And this sector in particular has been really affected. Um, they want to um, see the uh, export control on agricultural um, uh, hardware lifted so Russia could essentially restore uh, the level of that industry on its own country. Um, and it says basically that it's if it's not going to happen, then they will not allow this deal to go on past May 18th. We know that um, Lavrov had a meeting with the um, General Secretary of UN who passed on a letter to Vladimir Putin with propositions uh, as to how this deal can um, continue. Um, we know that Turkey is also trying to um, make it happen. But so far, it's obviously very much in the air. All right. We appreciate you bringing us up to speed on all of that. Mary Lucina, thanks. Joining us from Latvia.